Okay, over here, right, there are a few things we need to uh, look at. Huh? First of all, we remove the wrinkles. Okay, remove the wrinkle first, and then I will correct the color tone of this picture because right, it's a bit like a bit yellowish, right, on my screen. Huh? Okay, and then I will bring up certain highlight also. Okay, okay, now. Uh, in the real world, right, it's best that you always create another backup. Okay, so Control J. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in to. Going to zoom in to the wrinkle part, huh? Okay. Okay, this is where you can use your healing brush tool. Okay. Okay, can you right click here? Do you see there's a spot healing brush? Okay, yeah, I'm clicking this one. Huh? Okay. Okay, now I will increase slightly bigger than the wrinkle, something like this. I'm using uh, 30 pixel for a brush. Okay, this one, right? Okay, maybe I increase slightly a bit more. Okay, something like this. Okay, now it's 40. Huh? Okay, now you see how I do it first, huh? Okay, I click and drag. Okay, I draw following the wrinkles line and then I let go. Remember I told you that spot healing, you're trying to capture the surrounding area, the pixels, right? And then try to match with the existing pixels. Okay, now can you have pretty but don't overjoy and go and try to remove the wrinkle first but do you see this so sometimes right you need to do it carefully yeah. and don't do it uh, how to say you must follow the wrinkle closely see that okay don't be too ambitious huh? sometimes you might need to do part of it and then continue the next part okay this is very good because right in your skin color, I mean your skin, there's no fixed dots or fixed point, right? All the texture is very unique. That's why you can make use of this brush too. Remember I told you that it will give you like mix and match effects? Okay? Yes. You might, sometimes you might need to uh, reduce your brush size, you see? To stay closer to the wrinkles width. Okay? Hardness should be 100 correct. Okay. Because I'm using the pen, so it's very really easy for me to draw according to the wrinkles line. Do you see that? Okay. For you, you might need to do part by part. Huh? Okay. Okay. Once you have done with the forehead part, right? We can try. But over here, you need to be very careful. Huh? You can't drag all the way. You might need to do a few times slowly. Okay. But this is an old man picture, lah, so you still need to leave a few wrinkles there. Huh? Don't remove all, huh? okay? Otherwise, it won't look uh, natural. The nose also. But this too, right, it won't work very well when you have a narrow pixels to work with. Okay? So far we when we work the uh, when we try to remove the wrinkles on top, right? There's actually a quite a big area for you to replace. Okay, but when it comes to the nose part, right, you see? It's not so perfect anymore. Okay? You know, I'll leave like this. Okay, I'm done with the wrinkles. Okay, now you can open and close your layer one and compare. You see that? Okay, now I know that you like to use the clone stem tool, right? Okay, now can you go to clone stem now? 
okay now this one right is a bit tricky huh? for example if i were to create a third eyes huh? okay if i were to create a third eye here okay okay let's play a bit okay now ensure that your brush right okay now i'm using a uh, soft that means your hundred is zero percent and then your opacity change to 100% first okay and then your blending mode right make sure it's normal over here is normal okay now first of all I'm going to pick on the eye first okay you see where okay my brush right is actually close to the, the eyes huh? yes okay now can you just click once to define the spot first now when you move here right do you see there's a the eyeball there but do not let go on you see how I do it first Okay, I click and drag. Okay. 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 That's how I do it for my side uh, bicycle. Do you remember I showed you the bicycle? I did not go and uh, keep on refining, refining. No, I click once and I slowly paint. Okay. Zero. Uh, yes, hardness is zero. Zero because if uh, 100, right, then you will see the solid edges. <clears throat> Opacity, I use 100 uh, because I don't want to have the ghosted effect. Okay, now you are so happily give the third eyes, right? Okay, can we recover it by using the history brush tool? Okay. <laughs> Now it's slowly on the manipulation tools. Huh? Okay, can you click on the history brush tool? Okay, I'm going to increase the brush size. Okay. Okay, but now you have one problem. When you recall back, right, you will have the wrinkles back. Remember that? You see, when I call back, you see all the wrinkles coming back? Okay. Okay. Then can you fix again the spot healing again? Okay, just remove the wrinkle a bit. Okay. Okay, now we're going to learn how you can smooth up the skin. Eh? Actually, the spot healing brush, right, it will enable you to remove some pimples as well. Okay. Okay, now, uh, can you change to clone tool now? Use a clone tool. Okay, I'm going to smooth up a uh, skin around here for the nose. Okay, now I'm going to okay, reduce the brush size first. But first of all, I will pick an area that is quite smooth and then it's quite bright color. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll try here. Okay. Can you hold down alternate to pick up this uh, pixel first? Click once. Okay, but this time around, do not set the opacity to 100%. So in this time, okay, maybe I will use, I'll start with 20%. Okay, opacity change to 20% uh, for this, uh, not for the layer. Uh. Okay, now, okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, now, you see how I do it first. Huh? I'll keep on redefining the spot. Huh? Okay, first of all, I click here. Now I go and slowly paint it. Okay, then I pick again. I slowly color it. Then I pick again. Okay, it's really natural effect because I'm using a low opacity. If you use 100, right, you will see one patch there. Okay, now if now I want to smooth out this, huh? for example, I want to remove this. I'm going to pick up here also, then I will slowly blend in. Okay. Are you able to see the wrinkle is gone now? Okay. But you see, right now it's a bit fake already. Eh? You see the contrast there? So I'm going to pick from the top pixel instead. Okay, the nearest pixels. Okay. Okay, can you try to explore on the cheek here? Okay, try to 
use a clone tool. Huh? Okay, this is the smoothest pixels I have right over here. So I pick from here. Okay, now I'm going to slowly okay smooth out. Okay, I pick again slowly. Okay, pick again. Of course, this is very tedious, huh? That's why I'm going to show you another method later by using the Gaussian Blur. Okay. But you, when you, whenever you're using this method, right, try not to overdo it. Otherwise, your skin will look very uh, fake and very smooth. Okay. Now, can you compare this and this? Do you see that? This is that wow, so smooth, right? Okay. Okay. okay, you don't have to do so many clone stem, huh? okay, there's a faster <laughs> way to do it, <laughs> okay, okay, now, can you just turn off the layer 1 first, okay, turn off the layer 1, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pick up from the original layer, huh? and then I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur to it, then I'll use layer mask, right, to only paint the skin that I want it to be smooth. Okay, so now can you copy? Okay, Control J from the background. Okay, Control J from the background. Huh? Okay, you should have uh, three layers like this now, right? Okay, can you just shift this up to the top layer first? Okay, now can we go to filter? Okay, convert for smart filter. Okay, click OK. Okay, now can you go to Blur, Gaussian Blur? Okay. Okay. This one we are go we is okay for us to do it. Okay. Uh maybe okay, let's see. Can you try to turn on and preview and on? On and on and off? Okay, do you see it's a bit smooth now? Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more. Huh? Okay, don't worry about the eyes, everything. Now we just pay attention to the skin. Huh? Okay. Now, this skin is a bit too smooth, right? If you look at the thumbnail here, okay, it's too smooth, right? I'm going to reduce a bit. Okay. Okay, this is still acceptable. Okay. Okay, I'm using 3.4. Huh? Okay, now you click OK. Okay. It's okay. We are we only apply this on the skin. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to collapse this, huh? Okay, I don't want to waste so many space, huh? Okay. Now can you click on layer mask? Click on layer mask, click once. On layer mask, huh? Okay, now. Okay, there's no shortcut here. I mean, there's no menu here. So sorry, uh, I have to introduce shortcut. Okay, now, right now it's uh, white color, right? That means your blur effect will be seen. Am I right? Am I right? Now, I want to apply manually only on the skin, right? So in this case, can we reverse the, thumb, the layer mask here by pressing Ctrl I? Do you see it become black color now, your thumbnail? Okay, I repeat, huh? make sure you click on the layer mask thumbnail and then press Ctrl I to reverse the layer mask to become black color. Okay, now with this black color, right, do, you, do you still see the effect blur? There's no blur effect anymore, right? Am I right? Remember I told you when it's white color, you will see the pixel. When it's dark color, you can't see the pixel. Okay, do you see that now? Look in front here. Right now it's black color, right, on the layer mask. Do you see any pixel? 
But when it's white color, do you see pixel? You must turn off the background layer first. Control I. Okay. okay. Now you get the idea of layer mask, right? Okay, now I want you to have the transparent one. That means your layer mask must be black, huh? Okay, all of you got this? Okay, now turn on uh, turn on your la background layer now. Now make sure you click on the layer mask thumbnail first and then go to brush tool. Click on brush tool. Okay, now can you make sure that your foreground color is white color by clicking here? Swapping the color, the okay, white color. Uh. Okay, now I'm going to increase the brush size. Okay, like this. Okay, I'm using two fifty. Uh. Mm. Okay. Again, my opacity is only twenty percent. Uh. Okay. Now, can you kindly go and recover your face? But do not blur the eyes, huh? the eyes and the mouth and then the ear, right? all this it should be sharp. Now I'm only painting on the, the skin, do you see that? Now as I paint, right? do you see there's a white color here? Okay, maybe I turn off the background, do you see that? Okay, now I paint again. Huh? Now you are supposed to color the skin only, the skin area, because you want the skin to be smooth. Okay. Here you can see the difference. Huh? Can you see that? Can you see that? Now, if you find that 20% is a bit too low, right? You can actually increase to 40%. Okay. Now you can go and Fill, paint it, okay? Don't worry about the, the wrinkle first, huh? Because we have, remember we have this layer in the middle, okay? We have not turned it on yet. Okay. The moustache, you don't have to blur it, huh? It's only the skin, huh? Remember for portrait, right? Actually, the eyes is very important because because it gives the the main focus there. Okay, so you should never blur your eyes, huh? This is the reason why I don't ask you to use hundred percent because if you use hundred percent, right, you'll be too over already. Of course, if you have three those third party plugin, right? This one can be done like within a few seconds. Okay. Yes, this is a high res image. That's why I can see the mouth con. Okay, now can you turn on your layer 1? Okay. okay, now if you turn off the two layer, you see, I actually fill up the skin color like this. So now you see the layer mask, do you get the idea now? When it's white color, it will review the pixel. Okay. Okay. Now, based on this, right, I would like to create one uh, composite layer based on whichever we have here, which is these three, these two layers. Okay. Besides using the merging effects, right, the merging shortcut. You can also uh, set to say there's no function from here. You can only use a shortcut key. Okay, so this one you might want to take down. 
is actually control alternate shift E for elephant. Okay, control alternate shift E. It will create a composite layer of whichever layer you have turned on here. Okay, I repeat that. Uh, right now, because I have this uh, blur effect, right, and then this is the we remove the wrinkles, right? Okay. Instead of using merging, right? Because when I use merging, this one will become one layer. I don't want to I don't want that to happen. I want to create another layer based on the collection from this. Okay, the mixture of this. So I'm going to press Control Alternate Shift E. It will create another layer based on a combination of those layers. Okay, this is called. Um, Merge composite layer. Okay, it will give you another layer based on this one. I actually use this method uh, for Fullerton because after sometimes I fix this, right, I need to merge them again. So I carry on and with other merging. Okay, now I have recreated another layer based on all this, right? Okay, uh, okay we're going to do some adjustment. Uh. Because right now this color cannot make it. Eh? Okay, can you use uh, levels? Okay, this is my preference. I always like to use levels because when you use this, right, most of the thing will be adjusted nicely already. Okay, levels. Okay. Okay, I'm going to increase. Okay, I'm going to bring out certain. Okay, the color brightness, and then I bring down here. Okay, something like this. Okay, you can click on this eye icon to preview the effect before and after. Do you see there's a much contrast, better contrast? Okay, you can follow my value if you want. 14, 1.09, 230. Okay. And then I find that this picture right, is lack of uh, a bit of blue color. I can actually change this channel. Do you see there's a channel here? Okay, can you go to blue channel? Okay. Okay, I'm going to drag this in. Okay. You see immediately you can change the tint of the color already. Do you see that? I repeat that. Huh? First of all, make sure you're using blue. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the blue okay. because if you drag from here, right, it will decrease the blue. Do you see that? Okay, so now actually, now actually, this also serves a guide, guidelines to you. You see, when I drag in here, right, this is more acceptable. Okay, you see, when I compare with just now, you see, it's it will give you a refresh uh, color. Do you see that? It's better than just now, right. Okay. You mean this one? Okay, just click from here. Levels. Okay. Do you need me to repeat this step, Jie Now you see with the correct setting of your colors, right? Immediately your your photograph will look nicer already. Okay, and then. Uh, you can also okay now let's use the dodge and burn tool uh, to highlight to make some highlight to the face uh. okay for example now I find that okay the eyebrow I right, should be darkened a bit okay I'm using burn tool uh, okay using burn tool but make sure you select the correct layer huh? I'm using the composite layer which you have created just now okay Okay, you might want to increase your brush size. Okay, again, I'm using mid tones and fifty percent exposure. Huh? Okay, now whenever you're using all these manipulation tool, right? Make sure you just you try. Okay, you try a few times first. Okay, don't keep on clicking it. Okay, it will give you your bad result. Okay, now I'm going to zoom into the eyebrow. Huh? Okay. And then you can reduce your brush size according to the bright, the eyebrow. Huh? Okay. Okay. Do you see that as I paint like this? 
Can you see it become darker and darker? Okay, but don't overdo it, eh? otherwise it will become burn effect. Okay. You see that? Okay. Then let's try the Dodge 2. Eh? We can whiten his moustache. Eh? Okay. Okay, I'm using this, eh? the lollipop. Okay, Dodge 2. Okay, I'm going to brighten a bit. Do you see that? Okay. So this time it was white color, uh, black color, right? Okay. I'm actually whitening the the eyes also. Huh? You see that? You see that? Okay. And then for the eyes, right? You can sharpen it also. Okay. Look for this sharpen tool. It's just beside the lollipop tool, huh? Okay, do you see this sharpen too? Okay, now uh, this is actually the camera technique. Huh? Whenever they take a uh, portrait, right, they will always put their focus into the eyes. Okay, so the eyes should be very really sharp. Okay, now can you just okay, increase a bit? Okay, now just click once. Okay, just click a few times. Okay, okay you can compare with just now. Do you see? The difference, okay. And then sometimes I find, yeah, how come this one is so dark, right? I can actually use the dodge tool to whiten it, okay. You see that? Okay, I repeat, huh? Now you see, I'm using dodge tool, huh? Dodge tool, okay. See that? Of course, you can explore different settings here, uh, shadow highlights. Okay. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to create another composite layer from this. Huh? Okay, can you control alternate shift E again? Okay, control alternate shift E. Okay, now after you smooth out the skin, right, you should also add some reality facts also. Okay, because no one is going to have so smooth skin, right? Okay, so can you go to, uh, okay, same thing, select. I'll go to filter. Do you see this noise? Okay. Filter noise. Go to add noise. Okay. Okay, I change to monochrome matic. Eh? Okay. And then I'm actually using 12.5%. Eh? Now you can actually preview in here, you see that right now there's no noise, right? It's very it's very smooth, huh? But now when I add in, right, it gives some how to say like a real skin, huh? Yeah, the texture is there. Okay, you click OK now. Okay. So it won't be so fake. Okay. Okay, last step. Huh? Okay, can you go to this launcher? Okay, click on new layer. Okay, 
Okay, this is actually advanced technique already. Eh? Now, the mode, right, can you change to overlay? Change this to overlay. And then, can you please take fill with overlay neutral color? Uh, no, you must click from here. Click from here. Okay, new layer. And then, the mode, right, change to overlay. And... Check this, fill with overlay neutral. Okay, click OK now. You will see a grey color come here, right? Okay, now this is also similar to your masking. Eh? You are working on black and white. Can you press D first to ensure you get the black and white color? Eh? Okay, and then you can swap the color to white. Right now, I want to white. Uh, do some whitening. Eh? This is a bit different from just now the two that we have used. Okay, okay. Control Z, uh, Control Zero first. <clears throat> okay, now click on your brush tool. Okay, your brush tool. Eh? Okay, I'm going to increase a little bit, and then I'm going to bring down my opacity. I put twenty percent of my opacity. Okay, just double check. Make sure you are using the first tool. Eh? The first brush. No hardness, huh? okay? Okay, now I'm going to make some highlight. Do you see that? I'm going to, okay? But it's way thinner. Huh? Do not overdo like this, you see that? This is way worse already, huh? okay? Okay, this is like overall uh, highlight. If I want to make it darker, right, you can actually switch to black color and then you can go, okay, for example, now I want to darken here. Do you see that? Okay. I want to darken here. Okay, maybe I want to whiten the, the eye, eye pack, okay. Okay. See, you can create a shadow for the okay, okay. But you see, once you overdo it, right? Do you see this? Okay. You see, this is what you have done to the highlight. Okay. File save. Okay, you can name. Okay, save as PSD file. Huh? 